What is up YouTube, Ultimate Lock here. This video is going to be a how to start a YouTube gaming channel. I've been asked this question multiple times. I have currently three channels. I have Gamers Media, Holy Pepsi, and Ultimate Lock. Gamers Media has 2.5k subscribers, Ultimate Lock has uh, 10k subscribers, and Holy Pepsi has 4.5k subscribers. So I know a little bit about starting up YouTube gaming channels, and I understand basically the formula that you need to use to actually get viewers. There are many people who go off and they start up YouTube gaming channels, and they just don't succeed, and they don't get any viewers. They get maybe 100 to 200 views per month, and their channel never grows. And this video is hopefully going to help people who are just starting out on YouTube and also uh, help people who have been trying to get views on YouTube but were, have been unsuccessful doing so. So without further ado let's get started. First things first we're going to be going over the equipment you're going to need. You're going to need to have a PC, current generation of uh, CPU, current generation GPU, a microphone, a webcam, um, video editing software and video recording software. What I would recommend would be a blue snowball microphone it is a high quality uh, condenser microphone it's really really good for the price It's around sixty dollars uh, a webcam would be a logitech c920 is the one i'm currently using if you have better lighting than i do it'll come up much more clearly than i do because i have a little bit of fuzz on the sides but considering the fact that my room has very minimum lighting it is a, a very good webcam uh, then for video recording software, I'd recommend OBS. It can record in 1080p, is free, so uh, that's always a plus. If you don't want to go with OBS, you can go with XSplit, which is what I currently use. It is a paid software, so that is one thing to understand. And your last possibility is going with Fraps, which it, it's very good. It's just that the file size is literally insane. It's about like 20 gigs for 20 minutes, so every minute is a gigabyte. So it can be uh, very, very, very tasking on your hard drive. And uh, video editing software, I would recommend Windows Movie Maker, or Sony Vegas, whatever you really prefer. All you're going to be doing is really cutting clips into episode lengths, so it's not going to be anything too crazy. And that's pretty much all you need to get started. Now, next you need to figure out what are you going to be basing your YouTube channel off of. And your YouTube channel is going to be most likely a League of Legends channel, a Dota channel, uh, Counter-Strike channel, Overwatch channel, or World of Warcraft or Starcraft. You need to pick out a major title. You don't want to play indie games right off the bat. The reason for that is because if you pick up indie games and you start playing them, there's not that many people that are actually searching indie games. There just isn't. So you need to have you pick out a game that you're going to make content for that has actively a million people searching every single day for those videos. And that's what League of Legends got. That's what Counter-Strike has. That's what uh, StarCraft has. Even knowing StarCraft isn't as big as it used to be, it still hits a lot of viewers every single day. If you look at Husky's channel, etc., there's, there's many games that you can pick up that will have constant viewers always searching every single day on YouTube. And that's what I recommend. Getting popular titles and being relevant with the times you don't want to make a gaming channel that does let's just say uh Yu -Gi oh gba games or Mega Man x uh playthroughs unless you're the world record holder for Mega Man x you're not going to get any viewers and the people who do go off and they stream Mega Man x and they do speed runs of it that's because they put in years of dedication and they've grown their channel off of straight just Mega Man, which is just literally insane. And they, they put a lot of work into it, and you can do the same. But this is generally for people who are wanting to start up a YouTube channel and get some results uh, fairly quickly. So your goal should be in the first two months to get 100 subscribers. As long as you upload about once every three days, you should be able to get that. That gives you like a decent, I want to say 20, 25 videos by the end of the second month if uh, you do it correctly and you need to make sure you're uploading quality content now one thing to consider before you even start making the channel making the videos is you got to go with your name and make something that's relevant try to make it be only one word you don't want to have two words even though I have ultimate lock in my name it's better just to keep it very simple and just keep it one word and also you want to make a logo that is a symbol Symbol has no typography or anything along those lines. Something that you can easily market. Something that basically brands yourself and that you can slap on anything. And then people realize that's, hey, that's Holy Pepsi. Hey, that's Ultimate Lock. 
it's very, very good when you actually have a symbol like that. That's what all the major manufacturers use. Like, if you look at Husky, they have just a picture of a Husky dog in the face, and you can instantly see that on tool, and you know that's a Husky. You don't even have to see any text or anything. You know that by just looking at the logo, that's a Husky. So that's what you're trying to aim for. Um, worst case scenario, if you're not able to do that, just make a circle, put your initials of your channel in the circle, and you're pretty much set. If you don't even have the Photoshop skills to do that, which I know some people don't, then go and pay a graphic artist about $15 to go make you a logo. It's really not that hard. There's thousands upon thousands of people who are willing to do that. When I first made my uh, first YouTube channel, that's what I honestly did. And then I went to school and uh, did some Photoshop work, and I was like, oh, yeah, this program isn't that hard. So I ended up making my own logo from there on out. But uh, yeah, that's what I would personally recommend. Uh, now let's go into some other stuff like expanding your channel. You need to update relevant content. Um, and you also need to actually know the game you're playing. Just playing League of Legends is not going to get your viewers. Uh, you're going to need to give tips and tricks. You're going to need to give information that most likely other people are not giving. A great example is when... My gamers media account got terminated for a uh, con or well, not content ID match, but uh, community guideline strikes. And I knew it was bullshit and I was appealing the case and I made Holy Pepsi from scratch. So I appealed the case and it took about a year to get my channel back, but I did get my channel back. It's live right now, but pretty much by the time I got my channel back, I already had Holy Pepsi and I was growing and basically I had a much more bigger fan base and much more active subscriber base. So I started to go with just Holy Pepsi. But when I first started out uh, rec doing recording videos on Holy Pepsi, I was getting no views. What I did was I knew League of Legends very well and I went off and basically made a video about Rango, uh, Tank Rango. And this was pretty much one of the first Tank Rango videos on YouTube. Everyone thought that Tank Rango was absolute crap and it was like, why the hell would you go Tank Rango instead of an Assassin Rango? For those who don't even play League of Legends, you can at least understand that the meta is constantly changing. And I found out something that was really popular in the meta, or I shouldn't say popular, but was really good in the meta that no one else knew about. So I made the video, got called an idiot, got called a retard, got called massive amounts of insults. And then three months later, an LCS player, which is the League of Legends Championship Series, ended up picking up Tank Rango. And guess what happened to my video? My video blew up. I got about 100,000 views. And then I got my first 400, 500 subscribers, and my channel continued to grow from there on out. That's what you have to do. You have to post up quality content, and you also have to know what your game is. You need to know exactly what your viewers are wanting, which my viewers were wanting tips and tricks and how to gain ELO and etc. And that's what I gave them. And that's your primary focus. You want to upload quality content, 1080p, uh, time relevant stuff. And worst case scenario, especially with like League of Legends and any competitive game, you can just go over the buff patches every single, uh, basically month, every single time they patch the game. You can just go over them and give your opinions and thoughts on that. And that will give you viewers. That's time relevant content right there. So now you have the understanding of what you should upload. Now you need to understand what games you can upload. Now, I've already gone over League of Legends. That is a game that you can upload. Uh, Blizzard titles are a game you can upload, such as uh, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, uh, Starcraft 2, Diablo, etc. Those are all games that you're allowed to upload. Blizzard, Riot Games, and Valve, which is the maker of Counter-Strike, Left 4 Dead, and Half-Life 2, they allow you to monetize their videos. I should say upload their videos and monetize them. Monetizing your videos is very critical and you need to understand what that means. There was a YouTuber that ended up having content ID match on their channel and the copyright holder ended up wanting to remove all the content that was content ID matched from YouTube. He ended up losing his entire channel of 35k subscribers in under th one hour's time. Actually, I think it was more along the lines of 10 minutes. But he uploaded uh, about three years ago, about four videos that all had this copyrighted song in it. And he was using it for a montage. And this is when his channel was really small. He, only had, he said he only had like 1,000 subscribers. And he got about 400 to 500 views per video. So roughly around like 2,000 views for all four of these videos. Later on, his channel got much bigger. He got a couple viral videos, and he started to grow his channel from there on out. Well, three years later, after he made that video, those, got, those content ID matches turned into copyright strikes. 
And now it's not any guarantee that you're gonna 100% get copyright strike from a content ID match. That means that the developer is at any given time can switch their copyright policy and just completely remove it because content ID match generally means that they don't want their content on YouTube in the first place. So that's one thing you need to understand and you need to avoid. Now, your channel can get terminated for bullshit reasons, such as community guidelines. And if that happens, I would highly recommend going off, uh, contacting YouTube. I'm going to have a uh, the link down below that I should say probably in the description. I'm going to have the link where you basically fill out this form and they will tell you why your channel got terminated. And then from there on out, you need to figure out what's your course of action. If it got terminated for copyright strikes, you need to understand what did you upload and was it actually copyrighted. And please understand that fair use does not exist in YouTube. That is not a thing. People say that fair use is a thing in YouTube. And really, it's not. Maybe when it comes to doing voiceovers for trailers and certain criticism, it can be a thing. But in all honesty, fair use does not exist in YouTube. And the reason why it doesn't exist is because YouTube does not determine fair use. Okay? Legally, YouTube cannot determine fair use. Which means that the only way you can prove fair use if, if your video is wrongfully taken down as a copyright strike is to go to a courthouse and basically fight it. And I can guarantee you that you're not going to do that. You're not going to go to a courthouse in front of a lawyer and go off and be like hey this is totally fair use because one it's going to cost thousands of dollars and then you could get sued even if you are in the right so understand that fair use exists but youtube does not cannot prove that it's fair use and you have to fight on your own behalf so it's not something that you want to rely on using fair use as an excuse is something that uh pretty much is non-existent even knowing it's really sad that's just the cruel truth of it so that's essentially what you need to know. Um, again, I'm going to have the link in the description. And I'm also going to have a link to basically game developers that allow you to monetize their uh, gameplay videos. So, Orcs Must Die 2, Counter-Strike, uh, Left 4 Dead 2. There's like thousands of games. There's this entire Reddit post that I came across about a year ago. And if you do ever have a question about, well... Can I upload this video? Is this game developer cool with me monetizing their videos and keep putting them on YouTube? Just Google search it. You'll find multiple times that usually game developers will. There's certain game developers like EA, which I believe is one of the major ones that does not allow you to. Uh, EA and also Nintendo. Nintendo will allow you to, quote unquote, but you're not allowed to monetize them unless you're part of their partnership program, which uh, I'll be getting to that in a little bit. But uh, you just want to avoid content ID matches. It's not worth risking it, and it's just not worth dealing with the bullshit involved with that. Now, let's go and talk about uh, multi-channel networks. Multi-channel networks is pretty much like Machinima, TGN, and all these other channels. And they tell you that, oh yeah, if you join our MCN, we will give you viewers, we will get you promoted, your channel will grow. I can tell you that's the biggest bullshit in the world. I can also tell you that MCNs do not have any special privileges. They don't they don't allow you to upload special content to YouTube. They don't have these licenses that, for whatever reason, the entire video game community actually believed at a time that, oh yeah, they will help you out if you get your account terminated. I was a part of TGN for Gamers Media. I can tell you that when my channel got terminated, they told me, oh, and I had 2.7K subscribers at the time. They were like, sorry, there's nothing we can do. This is between you and YouTube. And I'm like, why am I giving you 40% of my ad revenue if the only thing you're doing is just basically giving me access to a form that literally does nothing for you. And it's just it's just practically a pyramid scheme scam. You're supposed to invite people to TGN and you get money for it. And they basically get 40% of their revenue for the next two years or however long the contract is. And there's PewDiePie has gone on about it. Other major YouTubers have gone on about how it's just it's just a scam. And I can honestly tell you, I was getting like two dollars ad revenue. I was getting like thirty to forty thousand views, and that is ridiculously bad. That is that is so bad. I, I wasn't even really caring at the time. I was just trying to grow my channel. I was like, maybe well, when I get bigger, I'd be able to go off and. Uh, Get, get my channel more views then be able to leave TGN and everything but that never ended up happening because one my channel got deleted and two my channel grew up the exact same pace as what it would without being a part of a multi-channel network so 
that's pretty much it. Uh, I would recommend just going off, starting up your channel, understanding that it's more of a patience game, understanding that you need to upload quality content that is time relevant, and once you do that, you'll start getting views. Another thing that I can say is, if you want, you can always do giveaways. I've started doing giveaways on this channel. That's always a nice thing to do. Give back to the community. And just have fun. Do videos that you know what you're talking about. And do videos that uh, are successful. And this is exactly where I just got absolutely destroyed. And uh, yeah. Peace out, guys. Hope you like this video. And uh, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.